In our second section within What's New 2018, we'll take a look at how SolidWorks can help deliver great design. Within this section, the first element is TAM slot. A costly part of any manufacturing process can be designing jigs and fixtures. What SolidWorks have seen is many people moving to self-fixing designs, so like the example we have on screen here. So we'll just explode this and take a look. So you can see just using a number of features here this has been created uh, to allow it to self-fix. So to help with this in 2018 SolidWorks have brought in some new functionality called tab and slot and we'll take a look at how to use this to allow this element at the top to fix into this element at the bottom. Now I've added the tab and slot tool to my sheet metal toolbar here but if you can't find it you can use the search commands box at the top of the interface and just type in tab and slot and that will find it for you. So we'll go ahead and start the tool. So the first thing that we need to select is an edge uh, on the component that's going to have the tabs. So I'm going to choose this edge here. The next thing I need to choose is a face uh, on the component that's going to have the slots for the slot to finish at. So we'll just use select other and grab the underside face. And we can see straight away in our preview that the system places the tab on screen. Moving downwards in terms of the boxes that we have, we can specify a start offset or we can choose not to have an offset. So I'm gonna have a 20 mil offset at the start and a 20 mil offset at the end. We can then choose the spacing that we require. So I'd like three equally spaced along the length, but that could easily be spacing length as well. We can then define the tab length specifically. So here we'll choose 30 millimeters, and I can then define the height. The default is up to surface, and that will stop at the face that we have selected uh, in the top box. But I could change this to blind, or alternatively offset from surface. We can then choose the edge type for the tab features. So we could choose sharp edges, which is the default. We can fillet them or we can chamfer them. So depending on your manufacturing procedure, you may want to choose one of these. We'll choose to fillet and we'll apply a three mil fillet there. Finally, towards the bottom, we can build in a clearance into the slot feature if we want to. Then all I need to do is click the green tick and we'll just show an exploded view to see what's happened. So we can see that we've had tabs added to the component where I selected the edge and slots added to the component where I selected the face, all within one handy tool. If we collapse that back down again, if we take a look in the feature tree, we can see that we have a tab feature and a slot feature. We can edit either of these at any time and it will take us directly back into the property manager for that feature. If we take a look a bit further down this model, I'm going to edit this particular tab and slot feature here. And again, it doesn't matter whether I choose the tab or the slot feature, it's going to take me into the property manager for that. Now what I want to point out here is that the tab and slot feature functions very much like the weldments tool in that it has a grouping facility. So here I can create a new group, I can choose additional edges to apply the slot and tab to. So again, we'll choose the back face here and we'll add another instance in with the same properties as before. So nice and easy to use, very, very flexible. If I switch over to another example here, we have a weldment frame. And again, I'll just explode this out. So typically you may uh, design a jig or a fixture to hold this together while welding, but we can see here with the use of tab and slot that we can actually use these to hold the design together to help with that process of welding together. What you'll also notice is that the tab and slot tool is not specifically for sheet metal. This can be used in a variety of different ways. If we look at a final example here, we have a dovetail on a uh, piece of joinery. And you can see that the tab and slot tool could be used for this. So because we're using edge lengths and things like that, this can be automatically updated. We can increment the pattern. Uh, we can build a lot of flexibility into this tool. We've just created these dovetails with the addition of some draft features at the end. So let's take a look at what we've seen. 
So this can be used at part, assembly and multi-body part level. It's not exclusive to sheet metal. It is fully patternable. It can also be applied to cylindrical parts. Just be aware that only straight edges are supported. Our next video is on drawings. Thank you.